I got my micro in today. Uh, this is actually the first print that I'm doing. This is a uh, thumb screw. I just got it uh, about half an hour ago. Uh, pretty easy to set up uh, and get started going. Uh, this is the test print that it came with. The uh, guy's arm was broke off, but other than that, worked pretty good. It didn't. The software didn't come with any models to print, which kind of surprised me. But I found a small one to test. And I got this thumb screw, it said it'll be done in about 45 minutes, so we'll see how it goes. Here it is, it is 98% complete. Um, a little confused as to exactly why it printed it like it did. It seems to have done like two rafts, one the shape of the object and then one square one. Uh, but for the most part, it looks like it actually printed it okay. <clears throat> that is what it's supposed to look like. I can't get the exposure right on the model there. So it just looks like a white mess. Nine point six five percent complete. I guess it's raising up. Now, one issue I did notice uh, I didn't babysit it the whole time, but there were a couple of times where the filament actually got underneath the nozzle and was touching the print. Looks like there's a couple of holes. And I can't get that off by hand. <clears throat> See if I can. <clears throat> See, there's a little bit of a hole in the top there where it didn't quite close up. Well, looks like it'd be five or six holes on the top, and then some type of weird raft. But uh, for the most part, seems to have done okay. And this seems to be falling apart. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. So. those and try something else. Here's a look at the finished part. There's a bit of an issue where that did not seal correctly. It actually is just coming right off. There's a, this is the top of the print. You can see there's a few holes right along the ridge there. Strings on the bottom. This is a second print. You can see there's quite a problem with it actually moving around, so I'm going to stop that one. For this next one, the raft just did not print very well at all, so I aborted that one. Here's another attempt. The raft seems to have printed the same way, which is pretty crappy, but maybe it knows what it's doing, so I'm going to let it go. Here's my latest attempt. This is supposed to be an M8 screw and nut. The nut did not come out well at all. It's actually Got a little bit of a slant to it. The raft didn't put very well underneath of it at all. Same with the bolt. But the bolt actually seems to have come out pretty well. 
And that's with the uh, print quality set at medium and the fill set at medium. I think for the raft, the problem is it's just not sticking to the bed, which is a problem a lot of people have. So I'll try and work on that later. This wrench just finished printing. This, uh, you can see the raft on that is way bigger than what it needs to be. See what were they thinking? That that took just the raft took a good hour to print, and it didn't really need to be that big, but. Uh, the wrench actually looks like it uh, came out pretty good. Whether or not I can actually get it to move, I don't know.